Hey guys, Booligan here with Booligan Shooting Sports. Today, I'm doing a super quick introduction on one of the latest firearms to enter my fleet. This is actually my first Polymer 80 pistol build. Um, the reason why I did a Polymer 80 build um, was primarily so that I could have something a little bit more of a stable platform for testing a variety of accessories. Things like this Swamp Fox Optic, this TLR-7A uh, weapon light, as well as a variety of other flashlights and other accessories. I also wanted to be able to do some design and development work on magazines, on 3D printable magazines, and because of that, um, I wanted to have something that's a, just a little bit more stable of a platform than a 3D printed lower. Uh, this one is completed with a, an optic cut and you know, lightning cut slide here from Patmos Arms and is fitted with uh, lower completion kits from JSD Supply. As I mentioned before, uh, this has a Swamp Fox red dot sight on it, uh, which is a drop-in fit on the Patmos slide just because it is a, uh, a proper RMR cut. And we'll do a separate video just on this Swamp Fox optic uh, a little bit later on. Also, I wanted to have a decent weapon light on it. So I went with a, at most everybody's recommendation, a TLR-7A. I needed to have something that was just a little bit nicer than Olight tier. So I quit getting dragged every time I posted a picture of a firearm with an Olight on it. So that's just basically how this setup is. Um, the actual process of building the Polymer 80 lower and completing the Polymer 80 lower was a piece of cake. Um, I did the whole thing with a simple vise, uh, some tape to hold the jig together. It includes all of the bits that you need to you know, drill the various holes. And I just used a hand drill. Um, one of the trickier parts is there's little raised bits on the top of the frame that need to be removed. Um, I did that simply with my flush cut, uh, my flush cut cutters, if you will, uh, from that I use for 3D printing, the same ones that came with my Ender 3. They're very, very sharp and they have a good flush cut. And I just, you know, nibbled away at that to get it somewhat flush with the top of the frame and then just use the file to bring it down, sand it a little bit. And I mean, honestly, the thing, it cycles super, super smooth. Um, and overall just seems to be really quite a fantastic little pistol. Um, so uh, the other reason why I wanted to do a Polymer 80 build is why I had, just hadn't done one, kind of wanted to see what all the fuss was all about. But also I want to develop some parts for these. I want to you know develop maybe a magwell or a grip plug or you know some various accessories to dress it up and change it a little bit. So that's why I went with this. So this, like I said, super quick video, just kind of wanted to show you guys this newest bit of uh, kit to enter my fleet of handguns and let you know there's gonna be some interesting content on the way, both for the frame itself, as well as reviews on the uh, Swamp Fox Red Dot and this TLR-7A flashlight. Um, many thanks to all you guys for supporting the channel, for continuing to watch, for clicking that like and subscribe button. And um, as always, stay tuned for more interesting things on the channel. Thanks for watching.